Central African Republic. The United Nations is warning that ongoing clashes could drive aid workers out of the country. Already some relief workers have withdrawn from the country's capital, Bangui, following the latest spate of killings and looting. Now, the latest wave of violence started on Saturday after a taxi motor uh, cyclist was killed in the capital. Nearly 40 people have died in the ensuing clashes. The UN is concerned about the looting of offices that has been going on in the last few days. Sectarian fighting in that country has been going on since 2013 following a military coup. At least 412,000 people have been displaced in the violence that continues in various parts of the country. Take a look. On nearly every street corner, something has been destroyed in the capital of the Central Africa Republic, Bongi. From churches such as this one in Bazanga district, or offices such as this one belonging to the International Organization for Migration, Looting and vandalism are now the latest concerns as the violence in the country continues. Aid agencies are warning that this latest turn of events is preventing humanitarian work that could bring relief to the more than 40,000 people who have fled their homes in the latest round of clashes. A bit more than 200 aid workers have left the country, says this humanitarian coordinator. I could hopefully talk to them to tell them that they should consider it as a temporary leaving and that will assure them to come back. He says, I'm also making a call to those who are involved in this movement, he pleads, that they should let aid workers move within the city. Aid workers are not involved in any wars. They're involved in a war against suffering, against misery, against disease, against human injuries, he says. Some 2.7 million people, more than half of the population, depend on humanitarian aid to survive in the Central Africa Republic, which has been struggling to recover from sectarian violence triggered by a 2013 coup. The violence has driven more than 412,000 people from their homes. The UN says the situation is deteriorating. Outside Bongi, with roaming bands of armed groups spreading panic, the latest round of violence broke out on Saturday after a motorcycle taxi driver was murdered in the Muslim majority area of PK-5. In Bongi, there are grenades and Kalashnikovs being circulated, says this witness. Everything. Even if you're careful, even anti-tanks, anti-tank grenades, they all have these things. K-5 was the epicenter of an unprecedented wave of violence between Christians and Muslims in the late 2013 and early last year. This latest flare-up is seen as a major setback for the Central Africa Republic, which was due to hold elections on October 18th. That now appears likely to be postponed. Jogeo, KTN News.